in the shadow of the destruction Saddam had wrought upon Kuwait. Beirut looks like hell on earth. Daybreak on the beaches of Kishmayu and a triumphant landing by the U.S. Marines. The Bosnian Croat troops have begun to hit back. Visions of a more peaceful world as a result of the end of the Cold War have been shattered by the realities of scores of armed conflicts, large and small, and the potential for many others in flashpoints all over the world. Sometime in the future, it's virtually certain that American soldiers will again have to leave behind their families to defend this country's national interests on remote battlefields. America will be spending less on defense, so they'll face the challenge with fewer personnel and fewer ships, planes, helicopters, and tanks to carry out their vital mission. To ensure decisive victory and a minimum loss of American lives, our fighting men and women must be equipped with state-of-the-art weapons that will give them an overwhelming advantage. The Comanche helicopter will provide the United States Army with that kind of advantage. One of the lessons learned in Operation Desert Storm was how long it takes to get enough firepower on the ground to do the job. That problem is even more difficult with fewer troops based overseas. With the capability to load quickly on and off Air Force transports or fly long distances, the Comanche gets the Army into the fight early and helps keep that fight from growing and becoming more difficult to win. At the front, the Comanche takes charge, finding the enemy and directing the attack. We call it the information war, where all the elements from the satellites in space to the reconnaissance aircraft and the Navy all linked together, sharing information in real time, right down to the tank, the artillery, and the infantry company commanders on the ground. It can only be accomplished through the use of modern digital technology. Comanche will be the quarterback of the digital battlefield. With its advanced mission systems, Comanche will be the link between the high flyers and the entire Army combat team. Comanche will be out there, in front, undetected, running the offense, locating targets, making sure that they're the enemy and not our own troops. History has shown time and again, to live and win, you have to know what the other side is doing. The price of being surprised is loss of American lives. To lead the combat team, the Comanche and its crew must fly deep into enemy territory. Comanche brings an entirely new dimension to the battlefield by incorporating features that make it hundreds of times harder to detect on radar. Its engine exhausts are cool, so heat-seeking missiles can't kill it. All of this stealth technology, like the F-117, will enable it to do its vital mission and bring home the crews who will be flying it. No other helicopter in the world can do this. The Comanche will operate at night and in bad weather, making it more difficult for the enemy to detect and attack it. If necessary, the Comanche can defend itself and other friendly forces with its rapid-fire 20-millimeter gun or a variety of missiles and rockets. The Comanche will replace the Army's current fleet of scout helicopters. Thirty years ago, they went to Vietnam. Thirty years later, they went to Desert Storm. But they didn't have the range or speed to keep up with the battle. On the battlefields of the future, our sons and daughters deserve better. Compared to the old helicopters it replaces, the Comanche lowers the costs of operation and maintenance, a necessity at a time of reduced defense spending. Improvements range from simple ideas, like designing the helicopter's weapons bay doors to double as work platforms, to a notebook computer that can tell a crew chief how to fix a problem. The result is a helicopter that spends more time flying and needs less time, less money, and fewer people to fix it. Since 1985, a team of leading aerospace companies, led by Boeing helicopters and Sikorsky aircraft, 
has applied the latest technologies to design an advanced helicopter to serve the Army and this country's national security needs well into the next century. That team has grown to include hundreds of companies, large and small, located all over America. To meet the challenge of building this revolutionary aircraft, this team of companies invented new design methods and manufacturing processes. For example, the Comanche's composite fuselage is made up of 350 parts, compared to more than 6,000 parts for a conventional metal helicopter. Those methods and processes will be applied to create other new products, both military and commercial, in coming years. So I would just tell you that the United States Army needs the Comanche. We are anxious to have the Comanche on the flight line, out there working every day with the men and women of the United States Army, active guard and reserve. We need the Comanche. I need your support. I need the support of the American people so that we can give this country what it expects, decisive victory as we face the challenges we face around the world.